Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we have a big tease for the future of Asajj Ventress, not just within the Bad Batch Season 3, but outside of that, and having a continuation of the overall character. This was a brand new tease that's been brought to life by some of the producers on the Bad Batch. We of course are gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop right on into it, break it all down for you guys from what we're hearing here, our overall thoughts and opinions, of, by which I would also love to hear what you guys are all thinking in the comments down below. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. Before we do though, however, grab the subscribe button if you haven't already as we're discussing and covering all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab the subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below as this is an exclusive from them. The latest trailer for the Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 3 very much so surprised fans by bringing back Asajj Ventress from the Star Wars animated shows a final set of episodes and it looks like that she might make a further appearances even in other projects more projects down the line in the near future by which of what we know thus far Asajj Ventress's last appearance in the canon Star Wars timeline was during the novel book Dark Disciple of which takes place about a few months after her final Clone Wars episode in season 5 by the end of the novel she presumably dies after taking a force lightning bolt from Count Dooku which was meant for Jedi Master Quinlan Voss, saving him, who was also hinted at throughout the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus show, whom Asajj Ventress had developed deep feelings for throughout the uh, overall novel itself. So for one, there's been a lot of talk as of to how and why kind of did Ventress survive this lightning bolt from Count Dooku, how and why does that make sense? I think the easy option on that is Anakin and Obi-Wan take countless uh, lightning bolt, you know, light force lightning from Dooku throughout both attacks of the clones and also in the revenge of the sith movie and probably also now thinking about it countless times throughout the clone wars animated show so you know one force lightning bolt you know to asajj ventress i think she'd kind of walk off fine with that the weird part of it though however of by which has been confirmed by the show's producer the bad batch uh that they'll have to go in depth into and explain actually is that a whole ceremony was actually held like a whole ceremony funeral was actually held for ventress in the dark disciple novel so that kind of creates a bit of confusion there and it's something that they'll have to take their time with and really truly explain although given the uh, Night Sisters and the, the witches seen throughout the Ahsoka show bringing the dead back to life there is that explanation and they'll be able to kind of translate that into the Bad Batch some way and somehow. So in an exclusive recent interview with the directs Russ Milham the Bad Batch head writer Jennifer Corbett and supervising director Brad Rowe had revealed that Asajj Ventress will probably make more appearances in other Star Wars projects outside of the Bad Batch season 3. On as of 2 why now was to time to introduce Asajj Ventress back into, you know, just a galaxy far, far away for one, Brad Rowe had admitted that they're huge Asajj Ventress fans to begin with, and that despite her seemingly death in the canon book Dark Disciple, they're not contracting any of what had actually gone on and actually happened in that novel. Like, that novel is still going to remain a part of the in-universe Star Wars canon. They say that in quotes, yeah, I mean, we're huge Ventress fans, and when we talked with our creative team of two to figure out how we could bring her into this storyline, we were very excited. We pulled designs from unaired arcs of the Clone Wars episodes, which inspired the novel Dark Disciple, and we're not contracting anything that had happened in the Dark Disciple novel. Ending that quote right there, very much so, very straightforward, but something new that we haven't heard before is that they want to kind of take some of those arcs, maybe, uh, and kind of see how they're able to bring that to light and to life in the Bad Batch Season 3. Maybe some type of strange iteration of the Dark Disciple novel is something that they would be able to do with the Bad Batch Season 3, but I highly doubt it. There are other stories, unused arcs, not even like the arcs that haven't been fully animated, like the unfinished episodes essentially, but there's like random ideas out there from Dave Filoni and George Lucas, I think, are very much a big possible idea for Asajj Ventures in the future, not just within the Bad Batch Season 3, but outside of that there as well. So if you guys haven't already noticed throughout this video, I've been playing some footage here and there from the Tales of the Jedi anime 
animated show, and I want to talk about that real quick right now, not to confuse anybody, but having Ventress appear in other mediums or other projects outside of the Bad Batch Season 3, Tales of the Jedi would be a very much so uh, kind of a dead giveaway. Why not have Asajj appear in there in the Tales of the Jedi animated show? I think that would be an incredible area to see the character return once again. Not just there, but also in the Cal Kestis led video games, the Jedi series, having her appear in the third installment, I think is something that could very much so become a reality. And of course, also somewhere in the Mandoverse, the Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, or even in Ahsoka Season 2, those are all very much so real possibilities. We'll swing back around and discuss more of that though, however, in just a moment. Their interview continues on with saying that Brad Rao had dropped a bombshell of a reveal, saying that there may be future answers down the road in something else when it comes to Ventress and her overall story, saying that they're, in quote, but I will say that not all of the answers of the mystery of interest will be told in the Bad Batch show. There may be future answers down the road in something else, but it was all really great to have that character in our show to interact with our characters. It was really cool, ending that quote right there. Another fun returning character that the Bad Batch has brought aboard during its run was Scorch, an elite soldier from the Delta Squad. The novels and the comics have covered quite a bit about them. A group who led their own fan favorite video game in 2005 called Republic Commando. However, Scorch doesn't do too much in this Bad Batch show itself, but he is Dr. Hemlock's personal bodyguard and kind of a leading officer, a right hand man if you will. Sadly though, however, none of his former squad mates have appeared in the show as of yet, so maybe the Bad Batch Season 3 will give us that offer. As if for whether or not that might happen though in the final season, Jennifer Corbett has offered up a bit of an answer, confirming that you'll see Scorch some more, but as if for the other members of Delta Squad, she simply says that she really can't say, saying that they're, in quote, well, for the Bad Batch, you'll be seeing some more Scorch, but as for other Republican commandos, I can't really say, but you know, there are so many stories to tell in a galaxy far, far away in Star Wars, so I'd say nothing's out of the realm of possibility for future content. I mean, that quote right there, and we have to kind of take that into suspicion and speculation and theorize on the idea that she isn't able to speak on that maybe doesn't want to spoil much but there's that maybe that the rest of delta squad would appear somewhere in the bad batch season three and brad wow also chimes in saying that their engineer and designer david collins had worked on the original republic commando video game from 2005 and is quite a big fan he says that in quote i will say that our sound engineer and sound designer david collins also worked on the republic commando video game and is a big republic commando fan so there are more than you know sounds from a public commando all throughout the bad batch ending that quote right there that in itself does feel like a bit of a more of a confirmation that that the rest of the Republic Commando Delta Squad could appear in the Bad Batch Season 3. It's something all the more I would love to discuss in a separate feature video here on the channel in more detail and in more depth. As for what might be the next for the duo, uh, Jennifer Corbett and Brad Rao, and what era that they want to focus on for another future animated show in a galaxy far, far away, of course, Jennifer Corbett made it quite clear that she was up for really anything, as long as she has a character that's worth exploring, saying that, and quote, I say any era of Star Wars is fun to play in, as long as you have a character that's worth exploring. So yeah, that's the best part of Star Wars storytelling, is all of the content that you can do in this galaxy ending that quote right there. So there's a lot that we discussed in today's video. The Delta Squad returning in the Bad Batch Season 3 feels like a bit of a tease and a bit of a maybe, but we'll hold off on that idea. Something I'll discuss in a future separate video here on the channel, as I had mentioned, but also the whole idea of Ventress returning in the Bad Batch Season 3 as well, and also for where we could see her in other Star Wars projects. Guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the force be with you as always. Peace out.